is it today is 26th fine i will start with see what is the impairment impairment is nothing but the reduction in value okay in a in a technical way okay in a technical way when you are doing the impairment there are various reasons for impairment okay external sources internal they will not ask you where they will ask you i will be very specific is that when you are talking about the internal we are talking about the we have to think about the fair value okay fair value is very important fair value consists of what when you are talking about the fair value there are two things are there cost to sell and value in use cost to sell means in simple words you are disposing of is that you are disposing of the asset or okay? disposing of the asset sale of asset is that value in use means you are keeping it for your you are continuing with the asset okay you are continuing with the asset now what they say how we are going to estimate is that estimate again it's a very important when you are talking about the estimates i'm putting very very important points okay you should have a reasonable assumptions very simple is that reasonable assumption means you should not take outdated data old data we have to take recent budgets and forecast okay now you i mean i'm i am explaining you ex assuming that you have a basic concept in your at back of your mind what we are doing we are talking about the cash flow projections budgets in simple terms okay cash flow projection should relate to the what is the assets current position is that see the thing when you are talking about the things what is the return down value return down value is nothing but how we are going to calculate in the year 1 the depreciation will be more in the year 2 depreciation will be less in the year 3 depreciation will be it will decrease from time to time okay means automatically what we are doing when you are doing the things we are using the matching concept is yeah? matching the revenue matching the revenue with the cost now what they say current position current position when we say the thing definitely after one year two years the efficiency of the asset is it right? the efficiency of the asset will decrease is it the efficient means you have to take current what is the current expected position of the asset for a period in excess of 5 years they will they will say that in the question they will say excess of 5 years they will not say anything more than that then immediately what happen you should remember that we have done this point here management should extrapolate from the earlier budgets using a steady declining to zero growth of after 5 years usually usually when you are talking in terms of the asset is it especially i am very clear especially plant and equipment is it especially plant and equipment in the plant and equipment we use return down value what is a maximum we are taking the value the life of the asset is 5 years if it is anything beyond 5 years it sometimes it happens if anything beyond 5 years then definitely we have to make right assumptions okay we have to make right assumptions management should assess the accuracy of their budgets is it but means what the the summary of this is the summary of this is we should have a reasonable estimates is it the summary is only a a in one, in two words if i say you should have a reasonable estimate now when you are doing that thing definitely while time value of money is a time value of money time value of money is nothing but if you take the time value of money present value one divide c divided by 1 plus r to the power of t is it now when you are saying discount rate r is nothing but r is nothing but the discount rate is a little bit financial management little bit financial accounting a mixture of all these things will be there okay anywhere if you find any difficulty you just let me know in financial management if you take into consideration the npv net present value in net present value we have taken present value calculated c divided by 1 plus r 1 c divided by 1 plus r to the power of t time value of as the time increases the value of money will decrease the risk specific to the asset for which the future cash flow 
estimates. Is that, what is the risk? Risk is nothing but the discount rate. Is it? I am telling you this. What happens? If the value of R increases, is it? If the value of the R increases, present value will decrease. If the value of R is decreasing, present value will increase. I am putting it in a box. Is it? This is with respect to what? This is with respect to time value of money. Is it? This is the basic thing. Means in 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 summary, we should we should not overestimate or we should not underestimate. That's what it is. Now, how we calculate impairment test? This is it. this is little bit important. Is it? How we are going to calculate impairment? What is the impairment? You have to compare. What is the carrying amount? Carrying amount is nothing but cost minus accumulated depreciation. Mm -hmm. Is it cost minus accumulated depreciation? Fine. Then we are dividing it. Carrying amount and recoverable amount. Is it how much you are going to recover? Now, recoverable amount is nothing but fair value less cost to sell. Any selling cost, any brokerage cost. Is that fair value less cost? There are two things are there. One is value in use and one is fair value to sell. Whenever we are talking in terms of this is the... This is the basic concept of impairment test. In, in in whenever we are going to cover it in the question, we have to give it in reference. They will give you a carrying amount, they will give you a fair value less cost to sell, and they will give you value in use. Now, based on that, we have to fulfill the conditions we have to carry forward the things. Okay, that is the reason when I, I put it in, I have put it in as a star mark. Okay, I have put it as star. What happens? See the thing. Now, conditions are very clear. It, it, carrying amount, assume, take an example, carrying amount is 10,000. Okay, carrying amount. If the fair value less cost to sell is higher than carrying amount, Carrying amount, take an example, 10,000. Fair value, take an example, is as 11,000. There is no impairment. Definitely, the impairment will happen when, impairment will happen when, impairment will happen when the carrying amount is more, is it? Carrying amount, carrying amount is more, is it right? And fair value is less. Is it? Fair value is less okay then only impairment will happen if the fair value is more and carrying amount is less it is an appreciation there is no there is no decrease in the value of asset now this is the first condition and no need to calculate value in use we are not supposed to calculate because automatic what will happen the val fair value is more than the carrying amount this is this is the one of the important points is it one of the important by by default we can understand is it in the in the question we have to use this condition is it in the in the in the uh, answer we have to use this condition again i'm saying you should have a carrying amount will be there you have fair value less cost to sell if the fair value is high carrying amount is less there is no impairment if there is no impairment, there is no point of calculating value in use. But what happens? Is it? But what happens? What is the value in use? Is that value in use? We are going to do it separately. Is that we are having a different concept when you are talking about value in use? Now, right now, are you clear about this? Yes. Yeah. Is it? Are you clear about this? Yes. Fine. Now. What it says, discuss whether the above impairment review in accordance with the IFRA standards. Technically, this is the approach we have to adopt. We have to adopt. Every sentence, you have to write one explanation. They are talking about discuss. See, when they say discuss, there is no structured answer. Is it right? See, these exams are going to be done globally. 
when you are doing this is that there is no structured answer but when you are writing it we have to be very very focused our understanding our language the concept has to be very clear fine the finance director asked the accountant to perform a impairment test on the assets by the year ended what 31st december using the most recent financial forecast for the basis for value in use calculation what is the value in use right now they realized cash flow for the entity is it that they realized cash flow for the entity were negative okay the realized cash flow means the you can say what is the fair value less cost to sell and were below forecasted cash flows for that period the realized value means what we are going to get if we are going to sell it fine divide the sentence this is is a first sentence this is the second sentence is that if i am if i am missing somewhere just you remind me the directors have significant raised significantly raised cash flow forecast for 2006 with little justification that the what they have done they have inflated okay they have inflated the they have in significantly raised cash flow forecast they have inflated they have shown with little justification the projected cash flow have been calculated by adding back depreciation charges to the budgeted results for the period with expected changes in the working capital with the expected changes in the working capital and capital expenditure has not taken into account read once again whether the directors have done it correctly or they have done wrong tell me yes is it okay i i got confused actually yeah tell me tell, tell me no problem i'm here to explain tell me so they added back the depreciation charges Huh. Is it because depreciation is a non-cash expense? Yes, it is a non-cash expense. If you go back to the investment appraisal (NPV), is it? If you free cash flow, is it? If you go back to the concept of free cash flow, is it? If you go back to the concept of free cash flow, free cash flow means we we have a very structure. We are going to take into consideration working capital. we are going to take in consideration the capital expenditure all those things we will take plus not only that 
when we say it is the, what the projected cash flow has been cut by added back depreciation charges. The, as you said, depreciation is a non-cash expenses. Whenever you calculate the cash flow, whenever you calculate the cash flow, what will happen? I will write here. Whenever you are going to calculate the cash flow, what will happen to the profits? Is it right? To the profits, we will add back depreciation. Is it? Okay, and even the uh, short-term liabilities can be added, right? Yes. It is working capital. Working capital. Okay. I will. I will. I will give the. Uh, I, will, I will give the formula for working capital. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, free cash flow. Okay. How you are going to calculate free cash flow? Is cash inflow minus cash outflow? No. Ex excluding the non-cash uh, income and non-cash expenses, right? No. Free cash flow is nothing but ca cash cash flow from operations. Okay. Cash flow from operations minus capital expenditure. Is it FCF? Okay, FCF. We write it like this. Is it right? FCF is nothing but free cash flow is nothing but cash flow, uh, cash flow, uh, cash flow. Whatever you are going to get cash flow from operations divided minus what capital expenditure. Fine. Okay. Now, yeah. what is it? Keep this one. Somewhere we will, we are not covering that much here, but uh, in financial management we will cover more rather than in the financial uh, business reporting. Now, what, what are the conditions are there? First you have to say what are the conditions. See, now if you come across this, very simple, okay? If you come across this, well, first you have to write what are the conditions of impairment of assets? Is it? See, what are the, what are the, see, don't go by the, uh, I will not say that word by word, okay? You should not say that I will go word by word what is given in the suggested one. Understand, write in your own words that will give you more marks. Rather than we are going to say that they have, they, we will miss something, we will add something, we will detect, fine. But the message has to be very clear what we are writing. Whenever they say that, they, what they have mentioned, the directors have their uh, recent financial forecast, which they have used, they realized cash flow was negative. They have the negative cash flows in 2005 far below the forecasted cash flows, the directors are significantly raised. They should not done that. Is it right? Raised cash flows. With, with They have not given any justification. The projected cash flow has been added back by depreciation charges and so the working capital. Now, what is the rules when you are making a projection? What are the rules they have mentioned here? See the thing. This is what the estimates of the cash flows. Understand point? These are the estimates of the cash flow. Cash, what are the estimates of cash flow? This is I will put the numbers. 1, 2, 3 and 4. You have to write the same thing. Similar to that. The cash flow projection should be on the reasonable assumptions. Most recent budgets. The cash flows should relate to the current condition. It should exclude, should exclude, see the thing, this is what we are talking, should exclude expenditure to improve, capital expenditure, is that, here we are talking about what, this is in, in general, we are talking in terms of a free cash flow, in, it should exclude means it's had to uh, deduct, expenditure to improve. The, the cash flow should be recent. It should not be more than 
5 years old okay more than if it is there we you have to if it is more than we have to use the steady and sometimes work okay, there should not be a growth rate zero growth rate management should assess the accuracy of the budgets is it now you can write the same four things is it right? there you can write you have to write in your own words is it right? you have to write in your own words the same one two three four we are not going to do anything else is that once we write it what we'll do we, this is as per ifrs okay this is as per ifrs uh, sorry is 36 impairment of assets is that means when you are talking about the impairment of assets what is the first one there should be reasonable as assumptions and the most recent budgets and forecast is that is that we are saying that one minute uh, reasonable assumptions is it reasonable reasonable assumptions reasonable assumptions and and more recent forecast more recent cash flow forecast I'm changing the I'm changing the color when I'm changing the color means it is a different different uh, sentence okay now what they are saying that this it should exclude what it should exclude the capital uh, is right it should exclude the current condition is right the cash flow projection should relate to the current economic conditions is right economic conditions which will which will exist which will exist to the remaining life is right the cash flow the cash flow projections or estimates okay projections or estimate should reflect should reflect the current should reflect the current economic conditions is it right which 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 exist for, for over remaining over over remaining useful life i am writing in a simplest of the simplest english is that you can do in the most simplest way how what we are discussing the same should be written nothing we don't do something which we don't go overthinking should not be there is that what is the third point the excess of in excess of five years they extrapolate earlier budgets is it right in excess of five not what we have to take we have to take the uh, 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 is it right? we have to take uh, in excess of five years extrapolate from the earlier previous budgets is it right is it previous budgets one minute management is it management should should consider consider the the projections reasonable 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 is it reasonable and consistent okay reasonable and consistent projections cash flow projections is it cash flow projection cash flow projection based on based on past actual outcomes is it pa pa past actual outcomes okay now this is what in is it as per write down as per IAS 36 fine now what the management has done what the management has done see the thing they have they have a they have exaggerated is it they have they have uh, significantly raised the cash flows negative they have converted the negative cash flows into positive cash flows okay they have converted 
negative cash flows for positive cash flow with with no justification is it right with no justification automatically what will happen the the users of the the users of the uh finance the, the information will have a little doubt is that write down management management has management or what they say the realize the cash flow is fine who who has done uh, the directors okay management or the directors significantly is it significantly is it significantly uh, uh, you can put significantly forecasted forecasted the negative negative cash flows is it into projected into projected positive into projected positive cash flows with 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 little justification with little justification are you clear about this yeah is it uh, is it so for the for the fair value calculation huh uh, we have to refer to the active markets right here we are not here why we have we have to think about active markets because uh, no no no. no 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 we are not... going to compare the carrying amount with fair value this cost to sell and value in value in what they are asking that the whether the above impairment review in accordance with the standard you are referring to are you right what what we have to do what they have to say what is that we are not talking about anything that okay say what we have done we have divided something this is the structure of the answer which we have to maintain first what we have done impairment assets assumptions about how they should be make an assumption current economic condition management should consider reasonable cash flow projection based on the past outcomes management what management has done wrong okay what management we can write something more okay we can write something more but make sure that if even for four marks you have to do minimum four mark points you have to write is that we can write more as per our as per our requirements okay now uh, tell me now what is that what you are saying i'm referring to the previous page before this page yes it's mentioned there is here hmm go down please hmm yes here it's mentioned fair value discourse to sell hmm So we have to consider the fair value is cost to sell and value in use. For the value in use, we're going to consider the appropriate discount rate. Yes. So what about the fair value? Fair value is to, to the active markets, right? Yes, to the active markets. But are we are we going to do anything on that? Anything yeah. is anything is related. Anything any any numerical information is given here. No, no. Just, Any numerical? I wasn't referring to the question actually. This ah. is just. Ah, yes. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. You are, you are, you are. What you are raising is, when there is a carrying amount, there is a. We will do that in subsequent, subsequent uh, questions. We will do that. Carrying amount, fair value to use, value in use. Okay, fair value, less cost to sell, value in use, cash generating units. We will do everything there. but right now what see this is where we should not get distracted we should not get distracted what the what are the assumptions of ias for the projections is 36 for the projections and what the directors have done whether the directors have done right or they are, they have done wrong 
That's what we have to discuss. It is only a discussion. We are not talking about any calculations. We are talking only about the discussion. Are you clear about this? Tell me. Yes, it's clear. Okay, they have not they have not put in any 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 numbers as such, is it right? Now, when you do the things, how you have to calculate cash flow, is it right? How you have to cal what what is the rules of IS thirty six as projected cash flows, estimate cash flows? We have done this, is it right? We have done that. It should be in a current conditions. Management should. Uh, should assess the accuracy of the budgets by investigation reasons for any difference between forecast and cash, actual cash flows. Is that anything is there? Just go through it. Any you know, impairment? These are the reasons of impairment, and no, these are the only reasons. Is that now what they have mentioned? What they have mentioned is they are talking in terms of depreciation. They are adding back depreciation. Here we have not focused. The projected cash flows has been calculated by adding back what? Adding back the depreciation. Depreciation is year-on-year -year expenses to the budgeted result for the period with expected changes in the working capital and capital expenditure not taken into consideration account. Not taken into account. Is it, ha it will be happen? They have to see the projected cash flow. Read very slowly. Read very. You, we have to write one discussion point on this. The projected cash flow has been calculated by adding back, have been by adding back depreciation charges to the budgeted result. Fine. For the period with expected changes in working capital and capital expenditure not taken into account. What is the working capital? What is the working current, capital? Current assets minus current liability. Current assets minus means nothing but, nothing but the expenses. Is a uh, normal expenses, okay? Normal operating expenses. Fine, normal operating expenses. They use the word day-to-day -day servicing, is right? day-to-day -day servicing cost, normal operating expenses. What they have mentioned, clearly, listen, understand, we are learning so many things here. They have not taken, in, they, have, they have added back capital depreciation, fine, but they have not taken into consideration working capital and capital expenditure. Can it be happen like that? No, they have to consider the working capital. They have capital to consider, yes. Is it? They have to consider. Is it? It is, it is highly, highly unlikely. Is it? That, that, that no investments, no investments in, write the same thing, working capital, working capital or or capital expenditure is right or capital expenditure capital expenditure is it or capital expenditure is it is it uh, would need to be made is it? to maintain to maintain one minute is it? means we, we cannot expect that see there will be a maintenance cost is it there will be maintenance cost what is that they say they say that for the rest useful life of the asset current position with the rest useful life of the asset to maintain is it to maintain the the assets current conditions 
we have to make some assumptions okay we have to make some assumptions fine we have to make some assumptions now what happens what happens yes juhana tell me what will happen if you are doing wrong calculation if you are estimating wrong what will happen if you are not making right estimates how it will affect financial statements keep it in mind you understand here you will you apply for all the things anywhere it will happen if you are not making if you are not making right estimates you are not doing right estimates okay if it is we are, we are not going to right estimates what will happen we will we will project our assets more okay we will project our assets more and we are not taking into consideration impairment loss is that we will not take into consideration impairment loss is that we are uh, we are otherwise we are just eliminating impairment loss is that we are not, if impairment loss is not considered your assets value will be more if impairment loss is not considered definitely what will happen you are you are, you are not making any changes for the incorporating any value of the impairment loss if you are making wrong estimates is it if you are making wrong estimate the most important thing is how it will have impact on the financial statements okay how it will have the impact on the financial statements what is a directors is it see that directors directors seems seems that seems that not not complying the the conditions not complying the criteria okay not complying the criteria of ies 38 sorry ies 36 ies 36 because of this is it because of this very very specific right to the point but you have to write divide it into sentence because of this what will happen the the what will happen because of the the assets the assets will be the assets will be overstated is it the assets will be overstated fine very important if you are not taking the impairment what will happen you are not reducing the value of the asset is that your assets will be overstated and and potentially is it right potentially reducing reducing the amount amount of any impairment loss i am making sure that you will you should if you start practicing mm. this one it will be easy for us to make sure that now you read the question answer one go you read the uh, uh, things at one go simple simple and to the point is 36 i'm i'm again reading from the imper officer reasonable assumptions and recent cash flow forecast is it cash flow projection should reflect the current economic condition with exist over the remaining life okay point to point next uh, you can write something more you, you can you can add something your own sentences something more explanation something you can add from our side okay 
management should consider the, re the reasonable and consistent cash flow projections based on the past actual outcomes means past budgets manage this is the first part okay this is the first part what we have done is that this is the first segment what they have done management significantly forecasted the significantly forecasted the negative cash flows into a projected positive factor with little justification this is the error they have done it is unlikely that there is no investments in working capital. It's unlikely. We cannot say that there will not be any working capital. There will not be any capital expenditure. Will be there. Improvements will be there. When you are talking about the forecasting, there will be some uh, some uh, realignment will be there for the capital cost. Is it right? We cannot go with an assumption that it is not going to be there. Is that? This is the first as per the see. This is the step one. What are the rules? This is the step two, what directors have done, is that? Right? This is the step three, is that? Right? That what they should consider and this is the step four, it is your conclusion. Is that? Right? I'm see, I'm, this is the step one is the, what is the criteria or rules, okay? This is the, what are the assumptions, I can put it like that. Step two is what what they have done the incorrect one is that what is what will happen if it is going to <coughs> what they should have considered it what they have to consider it they have not considered the working capital and step four is the conclusion is it clear to you Yeah. Is it? Calculation part will be less. I am saying this. 30% will be calculation. And the same structure, the same pattern, the same style we have to use in most of the cases. Is it okay? Are you clear about this? Yeah. Yes, Johanna. Yes, doctor. Okay. Fine. No. Okay. Now, what they are saying, how it is going to happen impairment okay how we are going to take into consideration impairment recognizing impairment in financial any impairment loss is charged immediately in the statement of profit and loss account any losses will be charged immediately in the statement of profit now what is the conditions these two are conditions okay this if the asset is previously been revalued upwards is that if they have revalued it upwards, the impairment recognized as a component of OCI and debited to the revaluation reserve. See the thing. I'm giving you an example with this. 2021, 2022, 2023. Is it right? 2021. Now what happens? Take an asset. Okay. The value is how much? The cost is how much? 10,000 they have made the fair value they got it how much they got it 12500 there is an increase in value how much is there 2500 this is going to be identified as a oci okay the revaluation re gain and reserve revaluation reserve okay this will be identified as a revaluation reserve okay now, this is the first part. And it is debited to where cap revaluation reserve. With a U, with until the surplus relating to that asset has been reduced to nil. How much is revaluation reserve is there? 2,500. Two now, in the year 2022, what will happen? The carrying amount is how much? When you are revaluing it, you have to take carrying amount. Okay, you have to take the 
you have to take the revalued amount. How much is it? 12,500. Assume the value of the asset has been reduced. Is that the value has been reduced to how much? The value has been reduced to 9,500. This is the fair value. How much is the loss you are getting? You are getting a loss of how much? 3,000. Is it? You are getting a revaluation loss is how much? 3,000. But how much reserve is there with you? We have the reserve of only 2,500. Means we cannot go beyond 2,500. Is it? In that case, what we have to do? We have to reduce the reserve. Is it right? Reduce the reserve for 2,500 and how much we have to take actual loss? We have to take actual loss to 500 and this has to be shown in the statement of profit and loss. This has to be shown in the statement of profit. That's what it says. And is debited to if, if the asset has previously been revalued upwards, the impairment is recognized as a component of OCI. And we have to debit what? We have to debit to the revaluation reserve. Reserves are and a, it comes under the category of equity. If it comes it under the category of equity, it is liability. In order to reduce liability, I am writing very, very simple. Is it right? In order to reduce the liability, what we have to do? We have to make debit. In order to increase the liability, is it? In order to increase the liability, we have to make it credit. Is it? In order to increase the liability, we have to make it. Now there is a loss. Is it right? There is a loss. If the asset previously revalued means there is some some account will be, some amount will be there in the revaluation surplus. Okay, there will be some revaluation reserve. Okay, fine. If first you have to identify is the another thing, another thing. It should be related to same asset. We have covered this in property, plant, and equipment. If you remember, you should be the similar same type of asset. Is it right? If you are talking about building the same building we should not have a different building okay it has to be have a same asset is it right it should be of a same asset revaluation reserve first you have to identify is there any revaluation reserve is there fine reserve is there 2500 we first we nullify that reserve and anything over and above then we have to show it in the statement of profit and loss now you will ask me if you don't have revaluation reserve. If you don't have revaluation reserve, straight away we have to show in profit and loss account. Is that? I am giving both the options. If revaluation reserve is there, first you have to take revaluation reserve and the second one we have to show it in the profit and loss. Again, there is no revaluation reserve, straight away you have to show it in the profit and loss account. Again, I will tell you subsequently, if we are going to sell, what will happen? Not, not right now. Okay. The remainder of the impairment loss is recognized in way the repayment will be in the profit and loss account, which is the remainder of uh, the remainder of the uh, impairment loss. The remainder of the impairment loss is how much? 500. Is that very simple? Very easy. I am repeating again. You should not memorize, but you have to recollect. The moment we are doing the question, you should recollect immediately. Yes, we have to do this type of treatment. The remaining carrying amount the offset is then depreciated if it is a property, plant, equipment, or it is an intangible asset amortized over the remaining useful life. Is it? The remaining carrying amount, if it is anything, is there with respect to the assets, we either we should depreciate or we have to take it as a amortize as the remaining useful life. Okay? Simple. What we have to understand, what we have to remember, is that what we have to remember in the same way what we are doing in the property, plant and equipment. Is that the same treatment? If there is anything, revaluation re reserve is there, first you have to deduct it from the revaluation reserve, then subsequently whatever the remaining amount, we have to show it in the profit and loss. And any other assets, whether it is 
IS 16 or IS 38, we, we can do the redepreciation or we can do the amortization. Is it clear to you? Yes. Fine. Now, now we, we do this problem. You will have more clarity. Okay. We are, we are going to do this one. You will have more clarity. Just, re, just we go through it. What it says, is it right? What it says, on 31st December, NTT noticed that one of its items, plant and machinery, is left idle. On this day, the carrying amount is how much? 500. And the fair value is how much? 325. First read the question. I have missed it. Okay. What they are asking us, what is the, discuss the accounting treatment to the above in financial statements for the year 31st December. How your answer to part A will be different if there is a balance of 10,000 in the other component of equity relating to the previous year revaluation. Previous year revaluation. How it is going to be? different okay now first we'll what is the accounting treatment on this date the asset has a carrying amount of how much 500 and the fair value is how much 325 the estimated cost required to dispose cost to sell there the st this is nothing but this is cost cost to sell is that cost to fair value minus cost to sell okay how much is there 25 Carrying amount is more, fair value is less. Understand what? Carrying amount is more, fair value is less. If the asset is not sold, is that the asset is not, the entity estimate value in use. If asset is not sold, it means what? It is value in use. It will generate a cash flow of 200 next two years that the that assume that the cash flows occur at the end of each year the discount rate is how much the discount rate is 10 What we have to calculate? We have to calculate the carrying amount. We have to calculate fair value in use. And we have to calculate fair value less cost to sell. And we have to calculate value in use. How much is the carrying amount? Is that how much is the carrying? See, follow the rules. Okay, follow the rules. Follow the follow the flow. Okay, this is the carrying amount. Is it? This is the carrying amount. This has to be divided under two parts. This is the fair value. This is the value in use. Is it? This is the fair value. This is the value in use. How much is the carrying amount? 500,000. 500, is it right? How much is the carrying amount? Carrying amount is 5. You will understand much much easier if you are doing this. How much is the carrying amount? 500. Fair value cost to sell is how much? 325. 325. 325 minus 25,000. How much is there? 300,000. Is it now? Now, how much? Now, what is the value in use? You have to consider the discount rate. Ah, 10 we have, yes, we have to consider that discount rate. Okay, how much? What what they say? They say that how much? How much they are estimating? They are estimating that the if the asset is not sold, they estimate that the cash gener, cash, generate cash flow of 200,000 next two years. 
at the rate of what? At the rate of 10%. Is it right? At the rate of 10%. Here I am writing value in use. Is it right? Value in use. Year, year, cash flow. Please write. I will ask. I will ask you to send me the screenshot immediately. Very important writing. The moment calculations are the theory one. The more you write, the more you will be confident. Cash flow, you have the discount rate. Is it? Right? If you have done the present value, the same concept you have to understand. The present, the present value. I am writing in in detail because this is the first time we are doing this you have year one is it right you have year one cash flow is how much two hundred thousand is it cash flow is how much two hundred thousand discount rate is how much can you check one divided by one point one zero it comes to how much or zero point nine zero nine is it right zero point nine zero nine this is column 1, this is column 2, this is column 3, this is column 4. Column 4 is nothing but 2 times 3. You can take it as 1 divided by 1.10 or you can take it as 0 0.909. It's your convenience. Both will give same answers. Don't worry about that. How much it will come? How much it will come? I don't have the calculator right now. You have to get. Okay, from tomorrow class, calculator is very important. Okay, it comes to how much? 181,800. Is it? Year 2. Is it 2? How much is the cash flow? 200,000. 1 divided by 1.10 to the power of 2 or, or 1 divided by 1.1 to the power of 2. It comes to how much? It comes to 0 0.826. Is that 0 0.826 times 200 thousands? Is that how much you will get? 165289. 165289. Total how much? 9801664. 346 check 9 8 this is 7 no it's not 6 Joanna you are having calculator yes, sir. the final yes, sir. Sir, I'm checking yeah please same answer 347089 yeah. yeah. now i'm putting here i'm writing the same thing here 347 3, are you clear about this now left hand side Is it right? Now, is it the impairment is there or not? See the things. See the things. Are you clear about this? This one. This is the value in use. Okay. This is the this is the value in use. Okay. See the thing. Carrying amount is how much? Again, I am putting the things. Okay. Carrying amount is how much? Carrying amount is Carrying amount is 500. Okay. Carrying amount is how much? Carrying. See on the left hand side. Carrying amount is 500. Is that? Now, which value is more? Fair value is more or value in is use is more? Which no, one I'm is more? Which one is more? Value in use. When value is in, is in more, we have to take the higher value. Okay. If you are come, if... Fair value is more, then we are not using value in use. Okay? If fair value is more, 
we will not use value in use. That is the condition they have met. Okay, that is the condition they have given here. See here, if the fair value less cost to sell is higher than the carrying amount, there is no impairment and no need to calculate value in use. Is that if fair value is more than now fair value is less? Is that fair value is less than the carrying amount? Okay, fair value is less than the carrying amount. Then what will happen? You see, since since fair value is fair value within brackets. 300,000 is less than carrying amount. Is it less than carrying amount? How much is the carrying amount? 500,000. Whereas, whereas, whereas the value in use, value in use is, is how much? 347,089 is higher than than fair value okay impair for impairment is it right? impairment which one we have to take carrying amount is it right? carrying amount minus carrying amount minus value in use how much is there 500000 minus 347089. How much it will come? 152 152911. One. This is impairment loss. Are you clear about this? Is it okay? How much is the impairment loss? Tell me. 152. 152, 911. Okay. 152, 911. Now, what is the what is the general entry we will write for this? A value of the asset is decreasing. Okay, value of the asset is decreasing. When value of the asset, there is no there is no revaluation surplus is there. Is it? There is no revaluation surplus is there. Is it? What we have to write general entry? It is a loss. Asset value is decreasing. If asset increases, debit. If asset is decreasing, see I will write here. Is that I will repeat here so many times. As it right? If asset is increasing, it should be debit. If asset is decreasing, it should be credit. Is that now what happened? Asset value is decreasing. Property, plant and equipment. Is that property, plan and equipment? How much? 152,911. It is a loss. Is it right? If it is a loss, what we have to do? We, they say that it should be debited. Is it right? It should be debited. What we have to debit? Profit or loss. 152,911. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Fine. Next. What is the second? Yes, Johanna, is it clear? Yes, clear. Teacher. Next. What they are saying, point number two. Point number two, you see now, they are saying that there is a revaluation reserve. Is that there is a revaluation reserve? How much is the revaluation reserve they are having? They are having revaluation reserve of 10,000. Is that they have the revaluation reserve of 10,000. When they have the revaluation reserve of 10,000, what we have to do? 
we have to first what how much is the loss loss is 152.911 okay 150 or you can put it you can round it off to 153,000 that is not that is not the point of contention okay revaluation is how much reserve is there almost is there um, now revaluation loss is it right revaluation loss is how much revaluation loss is 152.911 minus first we have to deduct reserves is it right what is the how much reserve balance reserve balance is how much reserve balance is ten thousands is it ten thousand how much it will come it will come to 142 911 is it 942 now what we are doing reserve is a credit balance it is a liability credit balance what you have to do, you have to debit it. Is that you have to debit what? You have to debit the reserve. Loss is a debit all expenses and losses. Okay, debit all expenses and losses. What you have to do, debit will be profit and loss account. Okay, now asset value is decreasing. Is that asset value is decreasing? How much the asset value is decreasing? Asset value is decreasing by how much? 152. We have to write property, plant, and equipment. This is going to be credit. Credit will be property, plant and equipment. Debit will be profit and loss account that is the loss. And debit will be revaluation re re reserve. General entry will be what? General entry will be debit revaluation revaluation reserve how much is there ten thousands debit will be profit or loss one forty two nine double one credit will be property plant and equipment how much property plant and equipment one fifty two nine double one Is it clear to you? Yeah. Okay, can you please repeat? Yeah. The first one is, the first one is clear for you? Yes, clear. Is the it? part two only. Is it? This is clear. Now they are saying yes. that there is, they have done revaluation re previously. On that revaluation, re they have the balance, okay? They got positive balance, okay? where they have some balance was there, is it? 10,000 balance is there. Now, what is the loss they are getting? They are getting a loss of how much? 152.911, okay? This is the loss they are getting. How much they are getting? 152.11, okay? 152.11 they are getting. 9.11 is the loss they are getting. We are not calculating the same thing. What happens? There is some, previously we have done revaluation re because of that, at that time, there was a revaluation gain. When there was a revaluation gain, we have transferred to what? We have transferred to the revaluation reserve. There was the reserve balance is there. How much? 10,000. Now you have the loss. Is it? Now you have the loss. First you have the balance. Is it that? You have a balance of how much? I'm putting just for your understanding. Okay? There has a balance of how much? Revaluation reserve is 10,000. Now they have a loss. How much is the loss? The loss is minus 152. 152, 152, 911 was the loss. Now what will happen if there is a loss now? First we will deduct from the, first we will deduct from the, if any balance is there, you will take that balance, okay? Any, any balance is there in the revaluation re reserve. When the balance will be there in revaluation re reserve, when there is a gain, is that when there will be a gain, then only balance will be there. When there is a loss, balance will reduce. Now they have mentioned here, what they have mentioned that, what they have mentioned that, they, if there was a balance of 10,000 in, in other component of equity relating to the prior revaluation, previous revaluation, is it right? Previous revaluation means 
this is going to be the revaluation gain. Only revaluation, if there is a revaluation gain, the balance will be there. Okay? Otherwise, balance will not be there. Is that balance will not be there at all? Fine. Now, total loss is 152,911. There is some balance is there, 10,000. You deduct it. What will happen? It will have a net loss. How much is the net revaluation loss? Net revaluation loss will be how much? Net revaluation loss is only, only 152,911. For that, we have to see, for that, we have to make a general entry. Tell me. Take your time to understand. Is that, is, uh, time is all yours. Okay, any doubt is there, you ask. One minute, one minute. Yes. I'm just putting it in the file. Is it okay? Mr. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, Mariam. It's okay? Yeah. Fine. Now. Another interesting one. Okay. Little bit different from other. We call it as a cash generated units. CGU. Is it? Cash generated units. What is, I told you last class, what, what is the cash generated unit? Anything you remember? I don't remember actually. Fine. Is it? Now, what will happen when you do the things? Is that again? See, it is not unusual possible to identify cash flows relating to particular assets. Particular assets. We, it's not unusually. It's, 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 we cannot say that, that this asset will give this much, this asset will give this much. We cannot do micro planning. Okay? We cannot do micro planning. For example, a factory production line is made of many individual machines, but the revenues earned by the production of the thing. There have so many small machines will be there. There are so many integrated machines, multiple machines. Is it a, you will have the laptop, you will have the printer, you will have accessories, you have the LCD, you will have the uh, token generation machine, you have as many things as possible. You cannot say, see, if, when everything is linked, then we go, going to be called as a production line. In these cases, value in use must be calculated for group of assets rather than individual assets. Is it? In this case, what when we cannot do it, value in use for a group of assets. Is it? For a group of assets. For a specific one. We cannot do individually. These group of assets are called as cash generating units. It is cash generated cash generating unit. It is a simple concept. Okay, it is a very simple concept. If they will give you, they will give you for four marks. They will give you for four. Very simple. Very easy. When I explain at that point only, you will understand. We don't need anything else. Okay? Means, if you want to know the value in use, 
of a group of assets of a group of assets then we will what we will use we will use the concept of cash generating units okay cash generating cg a cash generating unit is a small group of asset that generates independent cash flows is that I, I if now you will remember what is that i told you i put the same thing here like this you will have you will have different locations is that you have a different location assume this location is not working this location is not working there is some issue at this location then what you will do you will calculate va value in use for this specific location group of assets for specific group of assets you will calculate value in use okay now a entity has three stages of production a growing and felling trees next you are creating wooden furniture the third one is you are assembling the parts of b into finished goods what they are asking us they are asking us what is the cash generated generating units here they are asking us what they are asking the cash generated unit here they are explain you the theoretical concept in the next case you are going to in, you are going to have the numerical one is it right now which are interrelated which are not interrelated see the thing assembling the parts from b into finished goods if you say b and c they are one group of assets is it they are one group of asset if you take a it is a separate group of asset they have explained this the output of a is transferred part is is partly transferred to b and it is partly sold 